Good morning, PAFW clients, family, and friends. Welcome. Welcome. I'm so happy to be here. We are in a new month, and it was also really great to see so many of you on the um, Zoom class yesterday. And remember, my Zoom classes are going to be every Monday. Um, Joe has a Zoom class. Today at 11, if you're watching um, in the morning, Joe has a Zoom class at 11. And tomorrow, we have a morning meeting, yay! So we'll all get to be together tomorrow. And um, Lindsay has a Zoom class at 11.30 on Thursday. And no, at 11 on Thursday. And then 11.30, Linda and Pascal have their class on Friday, and Jocelyn has their class at 1. So we have Zoom classes every single day now, from Monday to Friday. So um, I'm really excited. We are going to do another Mother Goose Reimagined today. So I thought to warm up, we would I would play a song. That's the reimagining of another song. Ready? Everyone, just move back and forth. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Just repeat, right. Left, right, out, back, out, back, and roll those shoulders around. And out, back, out, back, out, back, out, back, and roll those shoulders around. And spin them up, 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 up. Good, and we're gonna be right, be left, be right, right, be left, be right, right, be right, be left, be right, be left, be right, be left, good, alright, and then we're free to guide. Let's get that energy going in your body. So let's get that energy gas in your right hand going to your left side. It's like your big ball of energy. You're breathing. But let that energy go through your body. Alright, good job guys. Turn that off. There we go. Good. Good, good. Feel energized? I know I do. Cool. So. Let's do some breathing, so let's do a cycle of eight, where we're going to inhale for seven, hold for seven, exhale for eight. Ready? Inhale. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale. Two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, four more. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more, inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, one more, inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold on a minute. Mm. Okay, so I just want to um, grab a clean hands. Um, so, I'm going to do what I like to call Mother Goose to a nursery rhymes for emotion. We're gonna take a nursery rhyme and then we're gonna add an emotional feeling or thought to it. So, we're gonna look at this one. I just went to look at the old King Cole with a merry old soul and a merry old soul with he, he called for his pipe and he called for his bowl he called us to the three. So study that a bit. Let's repeat it a couple of times. O King Cole was a merry old soul. And the merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe. He called for his bowl. And he called for his to the three. Again. O King Cole was a merry old soul. And the merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, he called for his bowl, and he called for his scissors three. So now what we're going to do is be emotion it. So, I will pick a card from the emotion card, and then we're going to say it again, only with the emotional feeling that we pick in the card, that I pick in the card. Okay, ready? I don't know what it is either, guys. That's the thing about emotions. You never know what might strike you and how you might feel. So, love. So, think of thoughts that are love. Think of love. Love. The beauty of love. Alright? Now, we're thinking of love, we're feeling love, and the saying the same. There she am again, but with that feeling of love, the thought of love. Ready? O oh, King Cole, with the merry old soul, and the merry old soul was he. Feel that love, he called for his pipe, and he called for his ball, and he called for his scissors to be. Again, really taking that love, feel that love with your expressive sensory rhyme. Right? O oh, King Cole, with a merry old soul, take your time, really feel it, guys. 
and the merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his scissors to be good now. Shake that out, we're going to pick another one. We're going to go to neutral. Freddy and it is sarcasm. And the, the same one again, but sarcasm. It's been kind of snarky, right? Oh, King Cole was a merry old soul. And a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe. And he called for his bowl. And he called for his siblings to be. So, so kept them. And let me read that definition of like hidden anger covered by humor, a sharp, witty retort. So, really, kind of snarky, I think it is too. O King Cole was a merry old soul. And the merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe. He called for his bowl. He called for his scissors to be. So you try that. Good. And one more time. Good. Good. Shake that off. I'm going to go to another one. All right. Good thing you do. Hopefully, you know, the road Jack and Joe went up the hill. They fetched a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke at the crown. And Joe came tumbling after. Take a look at that. Did that help you? Probably you may have heard this before. Jack and Joe did the neutral. And up the hill, they fetched a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke at the crown. And Joe came tumbling after. Good. All right, so, I have to be motion it now. I like the name of regret. Regret. Sorrowful loss due to circumstances beyond your control. An unchangeable and unfitable loss. Desire to repent. Well, that's regret, okay? So, with this, you're letting your regret being sad, being knowing that you hurt somebody. Jack, Jack and Joe went up the hill. Just a patch of pail of water. Jack was out and broke his crown. Joe came tumbling after. But with that regret, that sorrow, ready and action. Really feel that regret. Think of things that you might be sorry for and let that fill you up and try it again. Good guy, shake that up, shake that up. And then you're going to do a little less at, I'm demonstrating because I want you guys to find it yourself. So we're doing another one. Okay. So it's for Jack and Jill again. Gratitude. Let me read that. Peace and appreciation. Quiet reverence. Deep thanksgiving. Gratitude. Okay. So, same one, gratitude, feeling grateful. Huh. Fill yourself with the gratitude as we say this. Ready and action. Feel that gratitude. Good. Jack and Jill up the hill. Right, really feel that gratitude. I give you a little bit of a start. But I really want you to find the gratitude, a feeling of gratitude, as you say, the snooshy run. Good job, guys. I'll do, um, we'll do, we'll do another one. We'll do two more, okay? So, 
to the Bo Peep study that. But again, the reason I like to do nursery rhymes is we know them. Most of us know a lot of these from our childhood. So it's just really being able to quickly go from one emotion to another, okay? And that was about people that to sleep and they don't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home wagging their tails behind them. Okay, ready? Anger. Feeling hostility. Anger. Anger. With this. Right, feeling that anger, thinking that angry thought. Little boy, people lost their sheep. Feel that anger, think those angry thoughts that they say there's no shoe right now. Feel that anger and action. Good, and again, feel that anger. Little boy, people lost their sheep. Action. Good, good, good job. Let's find another one, okay? Check that off. Alright. And I'm not looking at them either, I promise. Okay. Okay, mischievous, guys. Mischievous. That's kind of a little wicked from the humor, having fun. Are we um, playful, teasing, harmless, misbehaving, being naughty? Fun naughty, okay. And that was miserable <laughs> <little> peep. <laughs> Has out to <her> sheep. <laughs> and action. Find that mischievous feeling, having fun, being a little wicked and a little naughty. Not necessarily nasty, but naughty, having fun. And action. Good guys, and again, really mischievous, having fun, and action. Good job, guys. Good, okay, let's take that off. Let's do one more, okay? Let's do a little boy blue from blow your horn, okay? And that again, this is one we're probably very familiar with. Little boy blue, come blow your horn. The sheep in the meadow, the cows in the corn. Where is the boy who lives after the sheep? He's under the haystack, bad to sleep. So remember that, get that into your memory. Say it a couple times. Little boy blue, come blow your horn. The sheep in the meadow, the cows in the corn. Where the boy who was after the sheep, you run to the haystack, back to sleep. Good. All right. Mm -hmm. yes. And our first one is amazement at spewing the pride and wonder. Amazement. Try that. Amazement. Things that you find amazing. Amazement and little boy blue horn. Amazement and action. I'll say it again. This little boy blue come blow your horn. The sheep in the meadow, the cows in the corn. They'll really find that amazement and action. Can you do it, guys, one more time? Hey, right, good, and let's shake that off. We're going to do our final one with the boy blue. Uh, Suspicion. Suspicion. 
I believe in a hunch from very little evidence. The evil one doing like and trust. Okay? So, little boy blue with that feeling of suspicion that you don't, someone in the room you may not trust. And the blue blue comes blow your horn. Find that this person that I like, could trust and feel that, feel that emotion as you say to the boy blue. Okay, the real whole body. How does it affect your body if you're being suspicious? Good job, guys. Let's see that out. We did a lot of great emotional work today. Let's shake that all out. Good. All right. Good job, guys. And I want to spend the reason I do like to do book like this and connect with book like this is when it comes to our emotions, we ne we don't plan our reactions. We don't plan our feelings. We don't say. At five o'clock, I'm going to feel this way. They just happen. But the more that we can do work like this and just give an emotion and just connect to it, that's going to strengthen our work and that. Because remember, our four tools are imagination, your emotion and feeling, your voice and movement, and your, um, your. <laughs> your voice and movement, your 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 voice, your movement, your imagination, and your feelings. So your feelings, your emotions, your voice, your movement, and your imagination. And I always talk about the fifth one, self care, which is what we do. We are gonna always work on on Fridays. So guys, thank you for joining me today. Remember, Joe had his class at eleven. Remember, tomorrow is our morning meeting at 11, and you should um, receive all that in the Zoom link. So, I love you, I miss you, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.